Well, good afternoon. We are in the midst of North Dakota Severe Weather Awareness Week. Today's topic, very timely. It's lightning, and we've got the potential to see some of that coming up for this afternoon as this next round of rain is moving through. Southern Valley, the focus for that. We'll show you that in a second. But a reminder on lightning safety. We know the drill, but it's always good to hear it again. Uh, if you're caught outside, if you hear rum the, that rumble of thunder, see some lightning. Want to head indoors as soon as possible. If you're caught outside, there's no safe place to be. Uh, stay away from tall objects. And uh, if you're out on the water, whether you're on a boat or in the water, want to be getting out of there and again taking shelter indoors. Once you're inside, stay away from electronics that are you know plugged into the wall. And then also you want to stay away from those windows and we'll have more tips for you as we enter more of that storm season here. We're also talking about flooding. We're still dealing with some high waters, especially in the northern valley. Uh, here's a look at some of our DOT camps still surrounded by water on Highway 66 in the North Dakota side in the Drayton area. Uh, the Red River is right at the very end of our view there. And then we've got standing water surrounding the interstate still along I-29. This is the Minto Warsaw exit. You can see standing water, water there on either side, even in the median. So still not done with this, this just yet. A look at our rivers. Again, we were seeing that's incorrect. Sorry about that, guys. I grabbed the wrong one. I wanted to show you the Pembina uh, gauge on the Red River, not the gauge uh, for Nietzsche on the Pembina River. Uh, uh, but we have that river still rising here in the very northern end of the valley. Um, when I come back in a little bit, we'll make sure we show you the correct gauge there. That was not right. Looking at conditions right now that are going to be more on the uh, cloudy side. We do have some areas where some sun is shining through. And then, of course, you see on the radar that we've got a wall of green here in eastern North Dakota. Looking at Nelson County, back over into eastern parts of Eddy and Foster County, we're seeing some areas of rain coming down. And that's where it's a little bit more steady and moderate. Other places it's pretty light, but still getting that rain ahead of it. It's warm. We're climbing. We're at 57 degrees in Fargo. Wadena's at 57. It's 65 right now down in Sisseton. And then underneath the clouds and the rain in the north and west, you can see it's a lot cooler. 42 currently in Devil's Lake with lighter wind here today right now. Now, as we watch this move through, it's going to continue marching eastward. We'll see scattered to widespread rain depending on where you are. This afternoon, again, temperatures are quite a range north and west, more in the 40s, south and east ahead of the moisture will be in those low 60s. And then you can see what's happening here this afternoon. Some thunderstorms popping up in the southern end of the valley. Some lightning possible, maybe some gusty winds, but not severe. And downpours, of course, in any of these thunderstorms that are moving through. So something to watch for as we head into the afternoon and into the evening. This is 7 o'clock tonight, still going on. And even around 10 o'clock, we still have some areas of rain. So this round lasting a little bit longer than yesterday's round. Even into tomorrow morning, we've got some patchy areas of drizzle going on to start off your Friday morning. Quick look at Saturday because Friday should be quieter. Uh, Saturday heading into the morning, you see what's happening here. Quick shot of moisture that may also have a little bit of snow trying to mix in with it as well. Now, temperatures are going to be warm, warm enough to prevent it from staying around if it sticks for a short time. I don't even know if we'll see that. So uh, just be aware you may see some flakes. And then next week, here's what we've all been waiting on. Temperatures reaching that 60 degree range and staying there, not just a one day warm up. Flakes shouldn't be in your vocabulary <sighs> at this point. I'm ready to put that away for a while. <laughs> yeah, so. tuck it away for <laughs> quite a while. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lisa. Straight ahead at noon, prosecutors are wanting to keep an Air National Guardsman who's accused of leaking documents to remain in jail.